Jarvis, we need to get into video record mode. Lock the door. Jarvis, the lighting doesn't look good. Switch on the chandelier. The most important part of this project is to allow interaction with the home from anywhere in the world. To enable this to happen, we have opted to use voice recognition. So saying simple things like Jarvis, switch on the LED lights behind me, will automatically switch on the lights behind me. Like you saw in the intro of this video, we were able to switch on and off the halogens on the chandelier behind me. For the best possible solution, you don't have to make any modifications to your home other than to add in our own modules. If you want to take Jarvis to the next level, why don't you opt to install our wall-mounted tablet, which is not complete yet, but you guys can see the following features in our upcoming demo. Okay, so the two things we want to go over real quick that we have not been over before, and this is part of the is not complete yet, but it'll, com it'll be complete in the next two weeks, is firstly the control. You guys can see we can have any amount of room set up on the side here. We still have to configure the rooms, and we obviously have the lights and appliances that you can have set up eight in each room total, but we will be expanding upon that. So if I simply click on chandelier, the off button will change to on and has a nice little sliding animation, and the chandelier light should be on as you guys can see in the video. If you click on it again, the chandelier light should be off. So we're going to go over the weather now, which is the second thing we have not seen before. The current temperature is 16 degrees Celsius with mostly cloudy. As you guys can see, it's 16 degrees Celsius and it's mostly cloudy. It's still nighttime outside. This is the is not complete part of our wall mounted tablet, but will be complete very soon. So let's move on to the next part of the video. Okay, guys, welcome back to the next part of this video. So for this part, we're going to be demonstrating cross platform integration. So I'm going to go ahead and open up our project Java's app, which is written for Android 2.3 and above. I'm using my very low spec Galaxy Pocket because my Galaxy Note 2 broke recently. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be viewing the software for a mobile app. So let's just tell Jarvis to open up. Um, well, let's actually time to look up a question for us. So here we go. How many days until Christmas? Let me check up on that for you. And you can see it gives you a verbal response. The answer should pop up any second if my network is fast enough. My network is obviously not. But you can see it tells us 87 days. So the cross-platform integration comes in where you can send data from your mobile device to the computer or uh, the app or whatever you're running the software on. So I have the app open on screen as you guys can see and we're going to relay the same information to the computer and the computer is going to process the request instead of the phone. How many days until Christmas? Currently searching. And you guys can see the sound has been played through the um, through the computer as well as the phone. Days until Christmas Day. However, the answer has been portrayed through the speakers on your computer, or in my case, the headphones. Now, a more useful demonstration of this will be able to open up web pages from your mobile device onto your computer. I know I like to uh, read web pages onto my PC instead of my mobile device. So let's say I'm on my way home from work and I want to see the new specs of the Apple iPhone 6. However, my phone screen is too small. It's only like three inches big. So I want to watch it on my big screen um, computer monitor. So let's tell Jarvis to open up Apple's iPhone 6 page onto our computer device using our mobile phone. Search for Apple's new iPhone 6. You can see it tells us the information has been synchronized and on our desktop computer we have opened up Apple's iPhone 6. Now you can use this for many other uses, opening up web pages, playing music, playing videos. However, I do not have enough time to show you guys that. But uh, take my word for it, we're going to be posting a lot more shorter, demo, uh, uh, shorter demos. For the last segment of the video, we're going to go over the energy efficiency savings that Project Jarvis offers. So above my head, we have 360 watt lamps and above that, we have 12 3 watt LED lights. Jarvis is automatically going to scan through the text file to find the best, most optimum light settings to use without compromising the light levels in the room. Instead of using one chandelier with 180 watts of power, we instead are going to use small 3 watt light bulbs with a total of 12 of them in the room to provide the same level of lighting. So we're going to be using the same mobile device that we saw in the earlier segment of the video and we're going to tell Jarvis to enable energy saving mode. Now my default energy saving mode is enabled but because for the purpose of the video I won't be able to show you guys the light switching techniques that it uses. Jarvis, please may you enable energy savings mode. So it generally takes up to a second or two for it to kick in and once it does you guys will be able to see the lights have been turned off and the LED lights will now be switched on. Or in this case, it decided to use the reading light, which is next to my bedside, which only uses a single 40-watt light bulb. So thanks for watching, guys, and I hope to see you guys in the finals.